Ladies and gentlemen, tech enthusiasts, and benchmark warriors of all kinds, welcome back to the Ultimate CPU Showdown, where today we have some spicy updates that will make your processors overheat just from hearing about it. So buckle up because AMD and Intel are at it again, and this time it's real personal. So what's the scoop, you might ask? Well, things are very simple and complicated at the same time. It seems that the Ryzen 9 9900X just bench pressed some serious numbers in Geekbench 6. We're talking about single core scores that are higher than your Uncle Bob's at a family reunion. In the Geekbench 6 test, the Ryzen 9 9900X definitely flexed its muscles and scored a whopping 3401 points in single core performance while the Intel best, the Core i9-4900KS could only muster up to 3189 points. But there was actually a small comeback from Intel that was noticed and that was the multi-core test with the Intel Core i9-4900KS scoring some 21,890 points that was still a bit higher than the AMD's upcoming 12-core CPU. The benchmark of the AMD CPU was conducted on an Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene motherboard with 32GB of DDDR5 memory. As anticipation builds for the official release, there are early benchmarks suggesting that AMD will deliver a compelling product that balances high performance with improved energy efficiency. The top tier models will still carry a 170 watt TDP, while some higher end and middle end SKUs get a TDP reduction like the Ryzen 7 9700X and the Ryzen 5 9600X dialed down to some 65 watts. This is a decrease from the 105 watts in the previous iteration. To sum it all up, the AMD Ryzen 9 9900X is the new king of the hill in single core performance, or at least this is according to the rumors and what we have available right now before the release. Guys, before I forget, I have to quickly mention that I don't just cover tech news here on the channel. This is a relatively new thing that I've just started. I also do tech reviews of products and maybe try and fix my own products here and there. So if you definitely want to check out videos like this, you can check out video like the one up here. Uh, that's a video where I fixed my AIO and I did a pretty good job at it considering um, that I had a very limited budget to work with. But anyway, guys, let's get on with the video. Maybe now it's Intel's time to hit the gym and maybe consider also some new protein powder because AMD is definitely not playing around. But wait, the plot actually thickens. Intel decided not to take it lying down and so they brought out the big boy, the big guns, the ultra big tanks, the Core i9-5900K that's also known as the Core Ultra 9-285K. Oh my god, Intel, what's happening with these uh, numbers? Please, you are killing me. But anyway, they brought out the big guns, right? So it sounds fancy. Well, the Cinebench scores are in and drum roll, please. Yeah, it's allegedly 8% slower than the AMD New Ryzen 9 9950X. Yeah, I know, I know. The Cinebench scores of Intel's Arrow Lake S flagship have leaked out and I have to say they're underwhelming at best. Before we begin though, let's remember that these are from the late engineering samples so we can expect that the final retail models will actually be slightly faster. These numbers have neatly been compiled below to give us an idea of how different the flagships really stack up. This includes the Core i9-3900K, the alleged Core i9-5900K or the Cole Ultra 9-285K. <laughs> the Ryzen 9 7950X and the Ryzen 9 9950X. The above numbers place the Arrow Lake S sample ahead of the Core i9 3900K and the 4900K but behind the Ryzen 9 9950X. There's a lot of 999 in there. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for this, but this is the name of the game, isn't it? The Granite Ridge flagship seemingly leads the core Ultra 9 285K by some 8 to 9% in the multi core benchmarks. And considering that the hyper threading is gone, this uh, well somehow makes sense. This is also worth noting that the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K is 11% faster than the 4900K in the same benchmark despite lacking the hyper threading capabilities. 
But you might be wondering right now, where is this uplift in performance coming from? Well, let's take a look spec to spec and compare the Ryzen 9 9950X versus the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D to get a better understanding about what's happening with this latest Zen 5 architecture. Looking at on the paper specification, it's startling how similar these two CPUs are. Uh, both have 16 cores processors, both have similar clock speeds, both in base and boosted, and both actually employ the AM5 motherboard socket. However, the differences are where things are getting more interesting. The 9950X operates on the newer Zen 5 architecture, which features integrated machine learning for performance optimizations across all the sectors, making of course the Ryzen 9000 series highly competitive. That said, the 9950X has a higher broad power than the 7950X 3D, which means that your power supply is likely of course to be under heavier strain during peak performance. However, yeah, there's a price to pay, right? Anyway, a uh, 170 watts DP given the processing power on display is impressive and highlights how the new Ryzen 9000 range has become more energy efficient. At Computex 2024, AMD's senior technical marketing manager highlighted this feature exactly like this. At the end of the day, we gave you more performance without increasing the power. And also at the end of the day, we gave you more performance without increasing the heat. Also at the end of the day, we brought a non-X3D chip very close to the X3D chip when it comes to gaming performance. Yeah, that was my version of a quote, so end quote. <laughs> Given that the 9950X is extremely close to its counterpart without the added benefit of the extended 3D technology that gives the 7950X 3D its edge, these are of course some impressive specifications. However, the X3D is of course the crucial differentiator here. This stacked L3 cache of course provides and makes the CPU more responsive in gaming scenarios for faster moment to moment gameplay. I think it's made clear by now that the 7000 series X3D processors will still be the best on the market for gaming when it comes to performance. That said, the Ryzen 9000 series closed the gap between the X3D versions and the non X3D variants of the CPUs. So should you buy the 9900X or wait for the X3D? Well, if the 9950X is comparative to the latest and greatest X3D SKUs, we will see an X3D variant that surpasses them. And if so, when can we expect it? Well, both are relevant questions, but unfortunately neither will be answered anytime soon. We're yet to have our hands on the 9950X, so benchmarking it, of course, is still hypothetical, or we stick to the rumors anyway, but given its close proximity to the 7950X3D specs, we're expecting great things as well. Whether we will get to see the X3D variant anytime soon, however, it's difficult to say. Given AMD's general development cycle, it's likely it will not be released before the end of 2024, and maybe a 2025 release could be on the table if the company of course wants to supersize the 9000 series. Although if rumors are to be believed we should be expecting the X3D variant somewhere in September but I think it's highly unlikely. If you are willing to wait it might be worth saving up for the later product though. As with any unconfirmed products of course you have no idea how long the wait is going to be on the other hand. So whatever you're a gamer, a creator, or just a performance junkie, remember this. In this round, AMD definitely takes the crown. All right, guys, if you made it until the end, you're so very kind. I can't thank you enough. And you know what to do. Maybe subscribe, like, and comment to this video. And see you guys for the next rumors to be released. Peace out and stay awesome.